Hello and welcome to the fifth video in the series of solving equations. Here we're looking at where we have equations with brackets and unknowns on both sides. The first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to expand each of these brackets um, like we did in the videos where we had just brackets on one side. So let's start off with 2 multiplied by 3x, that gives me 6x and 2 multiplied by minus 5 which gives me minus 10. All that I've done there is expand the bracket by multiplying what is in the bracket by the number that's on the outside. So this next one I'm going to do 4 multiplied by x which gives me 4x then 4 multiplied by plus 2 which gives me plus 8. From this point I can see that I've got an equation that's very similar to the ones I was looking at in the previous video. So from this point I'm going to subtract 4x taking away the smallest x from the larger one and so that leaves me with 2x minus 10 is equal to 8. From this point uh, I now have an equation that we looked at in the second video so 2x minus 10 is equal to 8. I'm going to undo this minus 10 by adding on 10 so that now leaves me with 2x is equal to 18 and now to undo this multiply by 2 I'm just going to do the opposite of multiply by 2 which is divide by 2 and so that leaves me with x is equal to 18 divided by 2 which is 9. Next up I've got 3 bracket 2x plus 1 is equal to 4 bracket 3x minus 2. So same thing again I'm just going to expand each of these brackets. So if I expand this one this leaves me with 3 multiplied by 2x which is 6x 3 multiplied by 1 which is just going to be plus 3. Then I've got 4 multiplied by 3x that gives me 12x and 4 multiplied by minus 2 so let's just put our arrows in like we've been doing. 4 multiplied by 3x gives me 12x 4 multiplied by minus 2 that will leave me with minus 8. So now I'm just going to subtract the smallest x which in this case is that 6x there so that leaves me with 3 is equal to 12x minus 6x, which is just 6x minus 8. Now, again, not to put people off here, I'm just going to rewrite this as 6x minus 8 is equal to 3. If you don't want to do that, this is an unnecessary stage. It just helps people see it in a slightly more familiar way. So I've got 6x minus 8. The first thing I'm going to do here is to get rid of this minus 8 by doing the reverse of minus 8 which is to add on 8. So that means that 6x is equal to 3 plus 8 which would be 11 and now to get rid of this multiply by 6, 6 multiplied by a number that we don't know is equal to 11 I'm just going to divide by 6 doing the opposite of multiply by 6 so what I end up with is x is equal to 11 over 6 which I can then say how many 6's fit into 11 1 with a remainder of 5 and I was dividing by 6